talked about pregame being able to test yourself against, you know, the size and length of Philly. You guys shot 50% from the field, 60 points in the paint. But what did you think of the way you guys were able to generate offense against their size and length tonight? Yeah, I thought it was a good game for us just to go against a team with that kind of length uh, and discipline. I mean, they're obviously a really good defensive team, so they force you to work for everything. And I thought our guys, you know, worked pretty hard. I thought we were, if anything, we were just a little sloppy with the ball. Uh, and had too many turnovers, but I thought the movement and the screening and cutting, which they force you to do to generate advantages, was pretty good. And we got some cracks, had some opportunities. Obviously, didn't convert enough of them, but I thought like the pace of offense and the way we were trying to play was well intentioned. Barry Trammell, the Oklahoman. Yeah, Mark Darius coming back tonight. He uh, looked like his shot was on. Uh, did a lot of good things. He was also pretty sloppy with the ball. Is that indicative of a layoff? Or how do you explain his his touch was on, but his ball handling was off? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think he did a really, really good... I give him a lot of credit because he's back a little earlier than we expected, um, which is a credit to the work that he's put in. Uh, and I thought he was in really good shape tonight. Like, I kind of let him run there at the end because obviously he, he was a little out of rhythm. Um, and I wanted to let him go a little bit. And he played 35 minutes and looked pretty strong doing it for a guy that hasn't played since before All-Star break. So, um, you know, I give him a lot of credit just for his return to play. I mean, that's easier said than done. And he's done a lot of work on the court. And I thought he looked pretty sharp, um, you know, with his shot and with his movement and just was a little sloppy with the ball. I thought he had a, a couple plays where he tried to do a little bit too much. But, you know, those are correctable. We're happy he's back. We're happy he looks like he's in pretty good shape. Body looks good. Um, you know, we'll just keep building from here. These are an important, you know, 20 games for him. Joe Masato, the Oklahoma. Mark, similar question, but with Blue, I know it was a much shorter layoff for him, but how did you think he looked uh, in his first game back? Yeah, similar. I, did, you know, didn't take a dip conditioning-wise. I mean, he looked good there. And I thought he was really, you know, he was a bolt downhill tonight. Like, he was really, really fast downhill uh, he did a good job of, of kind of timing his cuts, and then he had great pace kind of turn in the corner uh, and got into the teeth of the defense a couple times. And so uh, I thought he looked good. You know, I thought both of those guys were good. It's good to have them back out there. We definitely feel their presence just from, like, an athleticism standpoint. Like, those guys bring a lot of juice to the game uh, in their own ways. And, and I thought they had that tonight, and they'll only, you know, sharpen the blade from here. One follow-up, it looked like even before the game, Poku seemed a little bothered warming up, uh, you know, his right arm. Was it a case where you wanted to, you know, at least play him, see if he could play through it, or can you just sort of take us through that injury situation? Yeah, he was trying to give it to, give it a go, you know, and, and I give him credit for doing that again. You know, he had the hip thing on the back-to-back, -back, uh, and, you know, we weren't quite sure how he was going to respond to that physically. And he got himself to the court on the second night of the back-to-back, -back, which was a positive thing for a 19-year-old that's kind of playing a lot of minutes and carrying a pretty heavy load right now. Uh, and tonight was similar. You know, he had a little bit of discomfort before the game, tried to give it a go, um, you know, wasn't the night for it. You know, we'll evaluate him in the morning like we always do, but we've got two days before our next game, so hopefully uh, he, he's in a better place. Nate Gallo, Thunder Broadcasting. Mark, with Tony Bradley, he seems to just kind of have a nice feel in that side pick and roll, maybe just the way he kind of positions himself or moves subtly. What do you like best about the way he his work with a, a lot of your different uh, guards and ball handlers? Yeah, I thought, you know, tonight kind of displayed what he can do offensively. He's got really good hands, so he's an easy target. You know, you can just kind of dump the ball off to him. He can catch all three types of passes that you can throw in a pick and roll. Uh, and, and so that's a secure thing to have. Um, you know, he finished some plays tonight. You know, that's his former team. I thought he had good energy. You know, he tried to execute the stuff defensively. Um, he's been a good addition. He's a really good guy. He's really professional. He's hardworking. He's all about the team. Uh, and I was happy to see him have a good night tonight.